Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on how to get the best settings for your AOC monitor. So, whether you are a gamer or a content creator or just someone who wants to the best visual experience. So, we have got you covered. In this video, we will go through the essential steps to optimize your AOC monitor, color, accuracy, brightness, contrast and response time. So before we dive into the settings, let's ensure that you are using the right connection like DisplayPort or HDMI. Don't use VGA. DisplayPort is a usual to better choice for higher resolutions and refresh rate. However, HDMI can also deliver excellent result, especially with new HDMI 2.0 or 2.1 standards. Start with a clean slate. So, you can simply reset your monitor to its factory settings. So, you are working with a fresh canvas. This will ensure that any previous adjustments would not affect your optimization process. Make sure to enable the highest refresh rate your monitor support. This will give you the smoothest visual, especially if you are a gamer. So, if your monitor supports its enable adaptive G-Sync, for NVIDIA or FreeSync for AMD. This technology synchronizes your monitor refresh rate with your graphics card and reducing screen tearing and sluttering. So, now it's time to fine tune your monitor settings. So, we will cover brightness, contrast and color temperature as well as some advanced settings like cover drive and response time, sorry, overdrive and response time. So, set your monitor brightness to comfort level. So, you will see here in bottom section of your monitor a menu bar. Simple click on it to open the menu settings. Here, the contrast will be open. Again, click on menu icon to access the contrast settings. And then, use the use the left and right key to move towards your mo monitor settings. So, scroll down and here you will find your brightness. And you can simply click on the navigation button to move, to increase and decrease the brightness according to your performance or your type. Like, for genuine use, aim your around 35 to 40. For gaming and movies, you might want to increase it to 55 and 65. And for photo editing, you might need adjust it for further. So, now we can see the contrast. So, contrast is the difference between the dark, darkest and lightest part of the image. So, again click on the menu icon. And then here, you are default will be luminous. Again, click on menu button to access the settings and now you can access the contrast settings. Again, use these navigation keys, left and right key to increase or decrease the contrast like this. So, a good starting point is 50, but you can adjust it based on your preferences and the content you are viewing. Now we move towards the color temperature. The color temperature is measured in Kelvin Klein. So, again click on menu icon to open the menu and then use this navigation keys to move forward or backward. And then here you will see color temperature in color setup. So click on menu icon to access the settings and then use the navigation keys to increase or decrease the setting like normal, cool, sRGB, user and warm and again click on menu icon to set this to the position so we will give you a warm more yellowish image while a higher value around 930 ok will result in cooler blur image Find a balance that works for you. So, now we move to overdrive and response time. 
Overdrive is a setting that controls how quickly your monitor can change pixels from one color to another. A higher settings will reduce ghosting and motion blur but may introduce overshoot or inverse ghosting. Test different settings and find the one that provides the best balance for your need. So some AOC monitors offers advanced settings like shadow control or dynamic contrast. These settings can improve the visual experience in a specific scenario, but they can also negative effect image quality and experience with these settings to find what works best for you. To check, you can simply again click the menu icon and then find the more settings by using the navigation key like bright frame, OSD setup, game, game setting, extra, or others. So, if you are want to take your monitor settings to the next level, consider using a calibration tool. This device can measure your monitor color accuracy, brightness, and contrast, and provide you with custom ICC profile. And that is for your guide on how to get the best settings for your AOC monitor. Remember, every monitor is unique and what works for one person might not work for another. Take your time, experiment with different settings and find the perfect balance for your need. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech content. See you in the next video.